Hello friends, Chris here with ISK Recording. Throughout this audio engineering course, I'm going to keep talking about sound quality. But what is sound quality? You see, not everybody agrees on what sounds good and what doesn't. Quite often when we talk about the quality of a microphone or the quality of speakers or a preamp or something like that, we can refer to it in a bunch of different ways. There's different elements, and those different elements are the EQ response, the transient response, the level of precision or resolution, how much noise does it have? Does it add distortion? And also phase. So I'm going to talk about each one of these things. So starting with EQ response, like a speaker, for instance, if it has a lot of bass, then you could say its EQ response is bass heavy. Or if it has a lot of treble, then its EQ response is treble heavy. Generally, a flat EQ response is what's desired. But with microphones, sometimes you want to boost a certain frequency. Like with a kick drum microphone, you'll want to have a microphone that boosts the lower frequencies. And with a vocal microphone, a lot of people like using microphones that boost the treble frequencies, like the really high frequencies, around 12 to 14 kilohertz. So next is transient response. That's how fast a piece of equipment will react to the incoming sound wave. For instance, an 18-inch subwoofer will have a slower transient response than a 10-inch subwoofer. That's why like 18-inch or 15-inch subwoofers are often a little bit sluggish. You don't get that thump, that It's more like a woomf, 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 because they're just their reaction time is just a little bit slower because they're moving so much more mass. And that's not only relevant in subwoofers, it's relevant with every piece of gear because as audio hits the diaphragm of a microphone, how quickly can that diaphragm react to the incoming sound wave? And then when that sound wave is turned into electricity, it goes through transformers. How quickly do those transformers reproduce that sound wave? And the same with transistors and tubes. A lot of pieces of gear recreate the sound wave. And how fast it reacts to recreate that wave is basically what your transient response is. Next is noise. Pretty much every piece of gear adds noise. Microphones do, preamps do, tapes do, vinyl records do, the computer does, speakers do. Every piece of gear adds noise. Generally, the objective is to have as little noise as possible, but that's not always the case. Sometimes noise is pleasant because it could be in the form of harmonics that complement the sound. Here's a little recording of me saying something, and this is the clean recording. Check, one, two, three, four, five. Now I've added some noise to that recording, and here's what it sounds like with the noise added. Check, one, two, three, four, five. And here's the noise that I added to that recording. See, the volume of the noise coincides with the volume of the audio, so it's not really noticeable. But when you hear the noise by itself, it's surprising how much is actually added to that audio file, and you can't hear it that much. Noise is an important consideration with preamps. You might notice as you turn your preamp up, even if there's no microphone plugged into it, you'll hear this white noise, this hiss sound that just gets louder and louder the more you turn the preamp up. And the better quality preamps can give you more gain with less noise. And the lower quality preamps will add more noise to the recording and just embed that noise in with the signal from the microphone. Next, I'm going to talk about distortion. Now, what distortion technically is, is anything that changes the sound. So that can be all these other categories, EQ response, transient response, the precision, noise, phase. Those are all types of distortion. And the entire next lesson is actually talking just about distortion. And that's when a sound wave gets clipped off at the top and at the bottom, and it creates a harsh sound. Now, clip distortion is quite common if you turn your preamp up too much and it goes into clipping or distorted guitars by turning the gain up and it goes into clip distortion, which is quite pleasant in that case because it adds some nice harmonics. And the last thing I'll talk about a little is phase. When you take an audio signal and duplicate it and then blend the duplicated in with the original, if you just change the timing of the duplicated one by just a little bit, it'll be out of phase from the original. Here's a picture of two waves that are identical and in phase with each other. Now here's a picture of the same two waves that are identical, but they're 180 degrees out of phase from each other. Now in this case, when you play the two waves together, they'll actually cancel each other out and it won't make any sound at all. And then in this picture, the two waves are still identical, but they're 90 degrees out of phase from each other. Now I took a recording of my voice and I doubled it and I put the double just a little bit out of phase. So first you're going to hear the original recording and then you're going to hear the recording with the double that's out of phase so that you can hear what phase does to a sound. Check one, two, three, four, five. Check one, two, three, four, five. 
Now, in the mixing, that's not the only time where you got to worry about phase. If you're recording vocals and acoustic guitar at the same time, because you have two microphones and they're different distances from your mouth, you've got two of the same signal going into your recording software, but because the guitar microphone is farther from your mouth than the vocal microphone, the sound hits that one later. And therefore, when the two signals get blended together, they're out of phase from each other. Same thing goes with room acoustics. If you're recording into a microphone and then the sound bounces off the wall and comes back and is recorded into that microphone again, there you go. The signal was duplicated and blended with the original and it's out of phase because of the time it took to hit that wall and come back. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, high five the like button down there. Go make some awesome music and have a great day.